I'm Caitlin MacDonald and I work on the Weddell Seal project. After I did my master's degree, I started my PhD on the project. So we just came out with something very cool, which is our new Weddell Seal project multimedia ebook. My name is Parker Levinson and I'm currently a grad student at Montana State University in Bozeman, Montana. I've deployed with the Weddell Seal Project for three seasons, and the last couple years I've been the crew lead, so I've been managing the field team down there and all the, all the logistics, and I'll be deploying as crew lead this year as well. This is our new multimedia ebook, and it's super cool. It's a compilation of over 50 years of science and hard work in Antarctica, and we put it all into this really incredible book. Um, where you can scroll through and you can see these really cute seals, but you also get to learn all about the science that we're doing down there. So we can go to the science chapter and you can actually read all about the different work that we've been doing. Um, you can even hear what a seal sounds like. They make some really cool sounds and there's more in the book. You can go through and you can see um, a video of how the tide changes and the sea ice changes. Um, and you can read all about the work we're doing. I'm a professor at Montana State University in Bozeman, Montana. And I study population ecology of quite a variety of animals, but spend most of my time in the research realm working on Weddell seals in Antarctica. Our Weddell Seal research has been going on for decades. I've been involved for the last two decades. Uh, this will be my 22nd year. We work on a variety of topics. Um, the project's been going on for decades, so over the decades of science develops and new questions arise and so on. But fundamentally, the projects revolve around two big ideas. One is how is the population doing and what makes it go up and down the way it does over time. The other side of the project really has to do more with the lives of individuals and why some individuals um, live longer, produce more than others, and how important environmental factors versus um, other factors are for, for making some individuals live longer and produce more offspring than others. Yeah, so we've got our new multimedia ebook about the project, and we're really excited to be able to share this with people and uh, to give it away for free. It's taken a lot of work from a lot of people to get it there. Uh, strong credit to Jeremy Schmidt, who really led the effort, and to Mary Lynn Price, who played a bunch of key roles, and then so many of our team members who uh, provided videos and who, of course, went out and collected the data with us over the, the, the decades. So the book is directed really at the general public who's got a scientific interest uh, maybe an interest in Antarctica and some of the work that goes on down there and how we do it. It's, we hope, great for middle school kids, younger kids can enjoy the photos and videos, and then anyone of any age, we hope, that has any kind of scientific interest or curiosity about um, research on wild animals in, in faraway places can learn from it. So. It's a book I hope people will dive into, find something interesting, read a section, watch a few videos. You don't need to start at the beginning and read to the end. You can dive in practically anywhere and, I hope, find something worthwhile. And so it's a really great way to sort of be in Antarctica with us and, and experience the science that we're doing um, on your own iPad or your laptop. The Waddell Population Project is financed by the National Science Foundation.